Laura Carno joining us from Shall Not No from excuse me, I am created equal. How are you, Laura? I'm doing great, Cam. How are you? I am good. It's hard to keep track of all of the pro freedom groups these days, and that's a good thing. But uh, I'm glad that you're with us. And in Colorado, I am created equal is uh, making some waves. Uh, you all are uh, involved in the, uh, the 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 push for a recall election for some anti gun legislators. How's that going? Yeah, it's going really well. And um, there are four recalls going on in Colorado. They're all in the signature gathering phase right now. And the one that I am actually directly involved in is the one for our state Senate President John Morse, who was sort of the architect of all of this gun control legislation and working with Bloomberg and his folks on it. And so this is the one I'm playing in. All right. Uh, and, and, and so um, what are the goals here? Do you have the deadline to get the, uh, the signatures that you need and how many signatures do you need to get? Yeah, so um, by June the 3rd, um, in the, the recall for Senator Morse, we need over 7,100 uh, signatures. And so that's being done with a combination of volunteers, just pe grassroots people in the neighborhoods that he is um, supposed to serve, and then some um, paid signature gatherers as well. And that's very typical for, for these sorts of efforts. And it's going very well. The, the uh, buzz on the street is great. And I just released a poll yesterday um, that validates what we're hearing on the street, that people are happy about this, and it's not just Republicans. Talking with uh, Laura Carno from uh, I Am Created Equal. And that's, that, you know, Laura, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, you know, obviously, the gun owners who are directly impacted by this, they're not going to forget about this. But uh, there are, you know, there are there are people out there who are not gun owners who are uh, upset by what's going on. And, you know, the news cycle inevitably will move away from the passage of these laws. There'll be other big news stories. So the fact that, that, that people uh, remember and they have not forgotten, I know it's only been a couple of months, but... Uh, the fact that they're 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 still upset about this that I think it's a good sign. Yeah, I agree with you. And to me, one of the interesting pieces of it is one of the poll questions had to do with um, did the gun legislation represent the wrong approach or the right approach? And a solid majority of fifty eight percent said that it is the wrong approach and that it goes too far. And that 58%, that's not all Republicans. It's a very uh, moderate district, a roughly a third, a third, a third. And so for 58% to say this went too far, it's not, this isn't a partisan issue. Well, no, I don't know. I don't think it's a partisan issue at all. Uh, that's the thing. I imagine, frankly, there are quite a few Democrats in Colorado who are very upset by, by what their legislators have done. Yeah, absolutely. And um, there were Democrat legislators who voted against all of the anti-gun legislation, because some of our Democrats are actually, um, you know, they're left of the Republicans, but they're still pro-freedom, they're still pro-gun. And um, so I thought that was very interesting as well. Yeah, no, I do too. Uh, and, 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 and rightfully so. You know, that's the, that's, that I think is something that um, uh, really we, we haven't focused on, and certainly the media hasn't focused on, the fact that there was bipartisan opposition to the gun control measures in Colorado, there, there was not bipartisan support for these measures. Right, and if you even go all the way back to the Aurora Theater shootings, our Democrat Governor John Hickenlooper said, this is not the time for any more gun control, it wouldn't have stopped what happened here. And then his tone changed and the Democrat caucus tone changed when Bloomberg started spending his millions here. So in, in Colorado, we're not okay with New York uh, politicians telling us how to run our state. So it's created quite the kerfuffle here in Colorado. Absolutely. Well, listen, Laura, I appreciate you coming on the program, and uh, thank you for your time and all of your efforts out there in Colorado. Well, we're grateful that you guys are still interested in this, and we'll keep you posted. Absolutely. Thank you again. Laura Carno joining us from I Am Created Equal.